Well, isn't this quite the interesting bit of news? And certainly not a bit of news that I would have expected to be talking about. It's proving to be a controversial one, more so than you might think, because even though Skoda coming to Gran Turismo is a huge deal for those of us who have wanted it for many years, myself definitely included, I've mentioned it a number of times that I would love to see Skoda in the game, but the way that they are finally arriving is what is annoying some people. Not only because it's a Vision GT, which is definitely a, a weird debut, you would think that a manufacturer of that level would debut at least a couple of road cars first, and then have a Vision GT, it's kind of weird to do it the other way around. It's of course technically not the first time that we've seen something like that happen, for example the ESO Revolta Vision GT, whereas ESO as a brand has a lot of road cars compared to having the Vision GT featured first, and for the moment only. Personally I'd love to see an ESO Griffo in the game, but that's for another time. This one, again it's a curious choice because it doesn't really bode too well in terms of fandom because it's also electric, which is like burr, 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 burr. <laughs> you've immediately got this brand new uh, manufacturer coming to the game, legendary brand, especially in the world of rallying, and kind of in the world of motorsport, if you know your Skodas. This one itself is inspired by Skoda's own small sports car racing history. I'll probably slap an image in there as well from a 1957, I believe, model, but this one directly takes inspiration from. It's all-wheel drive, fully electric, and of course it will be quick, we know that much, but in a similar way to the more recent Bulgari, this could very easily end up being the kind of car which you use once or twice and for many of us probably not much after that point. Now for that car there is some use because it has a more conventional engine and that can be the saving grace. I know for example some people like to use that car as a cash cow which is an interesting choice. Some of the Vision GTs can be used for that. This one not so much being electric means it's pretty much going to be probably useless for endurance racing which is a shame because if you take it to the other end of the spectrum you've got the Jaguar SV which is a tremendously powerful electric car. It's one of the quickest electric cars in the game if not the quickest and even that is virtually useless because the battery goes down so quick that you can't really do much with it, at least any kind of event that has actual fuel use. Aside from that though, it's just filling you folks in on this bit of news. The video of course is linked in the description on Skoda's channel. You can't actually watch it yet, there's only a little visual teaser there, and it's going to premiere on the 24th, so just under a week, and we'll be able to get our first, presumably teaser, kind of look at this car. We do know a couple of others are coming to the game as well. In future we know the Afila is arriving in Gran Turismo at some point, and there have been, I've seen some swirling, some rumourings of a car which, of course, I covered before. It was pointed out in a trailer, a more racing-focused, perhaps, Group 1 variant of the Genesis Vision GT as well, a, a full-on, like, full-aero racing version of that car. So that one we still need to wait and see about, the Afila we still need to wait and see. This one, well, it's great to have Skoda in the game, but even I, as a Skoda fan, am definitely mixed on it. I love the fact that we're going to have them in there, but it is it's kind of bittersweet. Not even because it's a Vision GT, but because it's an all-electric Vision GT that you already know is not going to be that useful, which is a real shame. But still, let me know down below, are you happy to see them in regardless? Could you not care less about Skoda anyway, so you don't really care about this, or are you somewhere in between? Of course, I will be featuring it on the channel again when the actual teaser drops, and until next time, I'll see you then with more Gran Turismo news. But for now, thanks for watching.